Congratulations, Thank first you. of all, leading role in a musical. I did not expect that. I thought maybe, you know, if I'm going to do a musical, maybe a co-star or something. But to, to land a lead role is, is awesome. I'm, I'm incredibly honoured and it's one of my favourite films. What about the audition process for it? Do you have to go, uh, I presume you have to go through more than I one. I had about two days notice. I got sent some scenes and, um, and then a couple of her solo songs for the musical. I had to listen to the Broadway musical version of um, With You, it's called. And um, I went in and I sang for them with the piano and, and the rest kind of yeah I just learned it and ooh, but you didn't yeah. think you were gonna get the lead did you no not at all I was quite happy to sort of be a little bit in the background and a co-star so this the pressure's on it really is but we're working really hard because musical is very different in terms yeah. of the style of singing that you do almost opposite to what you what you've been used oh, to. oh my goodness it's so different the style of singing to what I'm used to doing like with the girls or even when I'm performing solo so. people are gonna get to see a real a softer side of me because I don't think people really have seen that which is a good thing. So let's talk about the character because yeah. it is a, it's an iconic movie. I love it. Oh, Whoopi Goldberg, oh, the whole film. It's brilliant. brilliant. It's just a brilliant, Honestly, brilliant the film. scenes that she plays, there's a lovely lady called Jackie who plays Oda May and she is absolutely hilarious. She is brilliant. I love watching her scenes. I, I just want to jump up and do all the gospel music with oh, her. Oh, I bet, I bet. Um, but <laughs> but we have all the sad scenes. She has all the fun scenes. <laughs> so it is very emotional. It's how very... how do you go there? Like what? I mean, is it very difficult? Is it? I think because it's a musical, it's um, the, for me because I I'm a big like lover of music, and the music brings on the emotions even more. So it's not hard for me to cry at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? But you, it's very exposing as well, isn't it? Yeah. You're there bearing it all in front of. Well, we'll talk about the love scenes in a minute, but Ooh. you know, just the emotion in front of a live audience. Just yeah. in front there. I know. I hope I'm not emotionally numb by the end though, no. because we'll be doing eight shows a week. So, so and do you still have to perform it with an American accent or are you allowed to Yeah, you yeah. Still have still to do an that? American, yeah. I actually learned for a role um, a few years ago. I had some some coaching in general American, so I get to finally sort of showcase a bit of that as well, which is gonna be interesting. And what about the raunchy love scenes? Don't, because yesterday I had to sort of start doing the, uh, the odd kiss and I'm like, oh God, I start blushing. It's, um, I, I'm, it's not something I'm used to. I've not, never really done on screen sort of snogging and stuff like that, so. And, and what about the chemistry with your uh, Andy, gorgeous co-star yeah. there? Oh, Andy's lovely, he's great. He's, he's, we, do you know what, the more I get to know the, the cast and the more familiar we get, the more comfortable it becomes. And it's, it's it's at the end of the day, it's job, and they've done it a million times. It's just me, though. I'm the one that blushes. <laughs> I have to say, it is brilliant, Sarah. You know, Thank lead you. role in Ghost. And it's really, you know, you, as you said yourself, <laughs> stepping out and people seeing a different side of you. Yeah. How hard was it when, you know, you've been had all this success with this huge girl group, Girls Aloud, and then that's it, you're, you're on your own? Oh, gosh, it was scary at first. But, you know, I like to try my hands at different things. I like to challenge myself. Um, you know, as everyone knows, I've done quite a few different things since, but um, to do something like this, I mean, it's incorporating two of the things that I love to do the most, which is I love to sing, which is my main, my main love, and I love to act as well. So I can do both, hopefully. It's just, it's scary because, you know, there's no, there's no room for, like, messing up or anything right. like that. So. And, there's, and there's so much pressure on all you girls because, obviously, you're in the public eye and the press are all over yeah. you and they've kind of put labels on all of you and you were party girl and then all the talk about well, well, has she hasn't she had plastic surgery and you've, been, you've come out yeah. and said publicly now that, you know... Uh, no, not... I haven't had plastic surgery. No, but you've said that you won't have <laughs> Botox. But how much pressure yeah. is look, there look, on look, you? Can I just say yeah. hello? <laughs> but you've talked, about the, <laughs> you've talked about having your lips done and stuff. I just want to know how much pressure there is as a woman in the public public eye to kind of feel and look a certain way. Well, of course, as a woman, you know, as you're getting older, women do start to probably become a little more insecure with, with, with the way they're looking. So I think that's just, that's all just part of sort of growing old, isn't it? Growing up and growing on. But, you know, I think, you know, as you get older, you get mature and you become wiser. And I think that's also a blessing. So you yeah. should embrace it, women. <laughs> yes, it's good. Well, you've been through some tough things, and particularly the, the jump we saw you recently on the jump. Yeah, I'm still struggling how are with you, money. How, how, that must have changed dramatically or everything that you do from now yeah, on yeah well I can't go to the gym as much as I was able to I still have to do another month of physio with that but um, that's had to go on hold at the moment but I'm, I mean I'm walking again I mean I was literally in the knee brace for quite some time so um, I couldn't really go to the gym but I'm gradually getting back back into sort of toning up and stuff which is good because I like to get to the gym it gives me energy makes me feel good well you know what they say Sarah you can't keep a good woman down so you know <laughs> good on you and good luck with thank this new you. role thank and make you. just you'll be brilliant we look oh, forward to 
coming and watching it. Well, I'm rehearsing my butt off, so fingers crossed. Best of luck with it. <laughs> it will pay off. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. That was the one thing that always held me back. I always thought, oh, you know, my mum created me. You know, I'm her baby. And that, you know, it even makes me emotional to think about it now. I didn't want to change it for her. But in the end, she come round and she was totally supportive because she knew that it made me so insecure and I felt really... I didn't feel confident mm. and it really knocked me all the time. But on the exterior, I seem like this really loud... Well, I'm, I am loud. I know I'm loud. Um, but just, like, really confident girl. But inside, I know it sounds silly, and some people will understand it, some people won't, but that re it really fazed me. Mm.